is up. Get paused. Back for a video. This video, this video has been a, been due for a while. I'm sorry to the person that requested it for from me. So I'm sorry, my friend. Just been doing other videos and life and work and the usual. You know how it goes. So I'm doing the video. Like I tell people, if you ask me something, I'm gonna give it to you. Or if you ask, you want my situation or opinion on the video, I'm gonna give it to you. So let me jump in this one. This one's gonna be something that you see a lot on on like YouTube and all these other like video sites, especially with music entertainers. This video is gonna be called "Once You Get a Job and Start Doing Good." You're a sellout, you're Illuminati, or you're an agent, or you're all three. Now, many people are ignorant to the fact, like real, real ignorant to the fact that if you make it, or if you, if you, if you seem to make it, especially in this country, that you fucking sold out to some demonic cult, you're a Illuminati, you're a Mason, you joined some secret society, you you traded your soul for riches, which doesn't sound bad by the way, but I haven't done it. They go out like most of them let me let me tell you this, most of these people are like broke and who never ever took a shot at anything in their life. They're like comfortable with their they didn't want to do anything with their life, so they don't, if you don't want to do anything with your life, that's cool, but don't blame me or others or who decide to take a chance and take risk. That's what life's about. But back to the topic. Like they talk about these artists who are, are sellouts or oh he sold his soul, that's why he's number one, he's an Illuminati. And I'm like number one, these guys aren't an Illuminati. So now what these artists are doing, which and I don't blame them, I would too. They're capitalizing off the ignorance of these dumbasses. And they're capitalizing off the fact that these people are making it such a big deal. You know, they're they're cashing in on it. Like, you've seen some of this stuff. Like, oh boy, I had a book called Decoded. And I don't blame them. I'd make a book called Decoded because it brings in money. I'd give a fuck if you said I sold my soul to the devil. As long as I know I didn't, I could give a fuck less. I'm just bringing in the money. I just, I want you to go to the store and get the book. And a lot of, and a lot of y'all who accuse people of that, go to the store and get the book. Like they're making money off of this. And I'm like, cha-ching, that's common sense. I make money off of your stupidity. Like, people say, oh, you sold out. Like, especially, like, if you got a good job or you feel comfortable. Like, I never feel comfortable because I know it can be taken away any time. So I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel secure. But I live day to day and it is what it is. But once you get a job, you better yourself. You better your family. You try to, do, you try to live the American dream that is sold to you. People want to say, oh, you sold out. Because you, you know, because you, you took the high road of the money. Well, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go on welfare? I'm on Section 8 the rest of my life. I don't feed my family off Section 8 welfare. No. I can't even feed myself off welfare in Section 8. I'm a pretty big dude and I like to fucking eat. So, I'm not really feeling sorry for none of you people. The grinders, like I said, most of you people never took a chance and never took a risk. You want to sit and live in your grandmother's house. Like, let her pay her section eight and live off of her welfare. Like, I, I, I could be the same way too, but it's not in my blood, it's not in my nature, man. It ain't. It ain't my nature to sit around. I gotta do so. I gotta be self sufficient. Like, I can't rely on the government to provide for me. I gotta be self sufficient. Like, this happened to me before, and I'm gonna tell you it happened, it happened to me like a couple times. I've been flat out without a penny before. And I had to literally start over again. It happened to me couples of times, couples of times, numerous times. But then the day I'm self-sufficient, code hustler. I'm self-sufficient to the point where it doesn't bother me because if I've, I've been, I've been to the bottom. So going to the bottom is not new to me. Like I could go back tomorrow. Not that I want to, but I could. But I can function. never been to the bottom so you, once you lose what you have you start fucking spazzing out so 
all I'm saying is a lot of these artists, a lot of these actors, a lot of these athletes, I'm not selling out. They're just doing them. Like, if I could get paid $20 million for my talent a year, you think I wouldn't do it? And really, I wouldn't give a fuck if you said I was selling out or not. As long as, uh, matter of fact, here's what I would do. I would, I would fucking act like I was doing it, keep the register ringing. So, a lot of people want you to walk a tightrope for them, you know. They want you to go, oh, like, I'm not here to make you happy. I'm not here to, like, you don't pay my bills. I have many bills, you don't pay them. I could care less what you think about how I get my money. So, all I'm saying is a lot of these artists aren't in Illuminati. A lot of you motherfuckers are just doing it for views. A lot of you doing it for attentions. A lot of you are just doing it because you fucking like lazy and never did anything in your fucking lives. And now you don't blame somebody. So, I'm out. Peace.